Hi guys, it's your girl Jalinda. I'm back again today with another video. You guys, today I am... First, let me just say, I'm having a, an issue with the way St. Patrick's Day and Easter are this year, this 2024. You guys have heard, I'm trying to stand on business all 2024, like the rest of us. But it's kind of hard for me to do when St. Patrick's Day and Easter are so close together in the same month. Kind of hard for me to stand on business with it being two holidays in one month. Standing on business would mean I would do St. Patrick's Day all the month of March, like I normally do. And celebrate Easter for 30 days or so. In April, I've done in the past. But this year, St. Patrick's Day is where it's always been. March 17th is going to always be that. But Easter is on March 31st this year. And forgive me, because I can't remember a time that that's happened before. I'm sure it has. I just don't remember it. And I just never had to decorate if it was. I never had to separate my decorations if it was so basically what I've done is I've, I've gone ahead and putting up putting up my um, St. Patrick's Day uh, decor what I have I don't have a whole lot of it never have had a lot of it so I'm going to show you that but what I'm probably going to do to be able to celebrate and enjoy Easter decorations for longer than um, a few days I'm going to probably just do a short St. Patrick's Day, acknowledge it, and do a short decoration and short a couple of videos for St. Patrick's Day, and then go right into Easter decorating on March 1st is what I plan to do. So, it's just a little awkward. I don't like to rush a holiday for another holiday, but I celebrate Easter a little more than I do St. Patrick's Day. You know, we've always celebrated Easter in our family. Um, but not a whole lot of St. Patrick's Day. You know, we, we celebrate it on the day of, you know. And so, I've never, since, just since I started doing YouTube, I started decorating for St. Patrick's Day. Which is why I don't have a whole lot of St. Patrick's Day decorations or decor. And I'm just kind of growing that as I go uh, every year. So, this year just happens to fall the way it has, and um, Easter is falling the way it has, so I'm going to just have to make, <laughs> I'm just going to have to do what I got to do, you know, you guys. So, I'm going to make a few videos um, on St. Patrick's Day things, um, and then go straight into Easter. That's all I can come up with. I mean, I've thought about it for days and days and days, and that's what I'm going to end up doing, so... That's what I'm doing today, guys. So join me. Oh, and I want, there's a drink that I kind of thought in my mind. I've seen some of the people on YouTube and also on TikTok um, making a drink with Red Bull. Well, I don't do Red Bull. I'll never do, I don't drink Red Bull. So I'm going to try it with a regular soda and just see how it It's just kind of like a cream soda. Um, it's not going to be green. I'm not going to do a green, I, I might do a green coffee. Uh, maybe tomorrow in tomorrow's video, but today I'm going to be doing a cold beverage that I think might be delicious. I just kind of think it's going to be good. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today, guys. So join me. Bye. So my kitchen is not very dirty. I, and there's probably like three cups and I'm just going to put them in the, um, there's some dirty dishes in the dishwasher already. I'm just going to put those three cups in the dishwasher and just kind of get them out of the sink but um there's not a lot going on in my kitchen today um I cooked last night but i washed dishes as i went so i didn't collect a lot of dishes so i'm just gonna put these in the dishwasher real quick i can find a spot for them there's only three three cups room for them down here maybe 
this cuts down. I don't, you know, I don't do anything in a dirty kitchen, so I'm gonna do this real quick. And then I'll start, um, when I make my drink. Still silverware, put those in. and get them another little uh, little bowl uh oh it's up here. and I'll start that a little later you can fit a few more things in it so I won't start it right now I'll start it a little later Like I said, kitchen's not so bad. It's it could be it could be wiped down a little bit, but it's not real bad, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um let's get us a glass down to do our drink. But we'll use a goblet. Let's rinse it out. Set that there, let's get some ice. I also want to put some strawberries in this drink, so let me get some strawberries to cut up. I need to cut them up so that they fit in the glass. Um, one second. Okay, I've got everything I need except for ice. Let me get ice. One second. Okay, let me get some ice in, the, um, in my glass. Let me move these over here. Sorry, I mean, it just shows I clean. How about that? It just shows that I clean. Okay, so we have our glass here. We're going to put some ice. And actually, I'm gonna do a little drizzle of strawberry syrup first. Let's get that strawberry drizzle going. Drizzle. Oh, I didn't mean to get it on the outside of the glass. But strawberry drizzle first. Then we get put our ice in. Six ice cubes. All right, I've got two strawberries. Got a little paring knife and some strawberries. Some of it's gonna go in, in some strawberries are gonna go in the, the glass and some are, and one is gonna be garnish. Okay, so I got two strawberries, one big one, because I'm going to be cutting, I rinsed them off already. You always want to rinse your fruit and make sure they're, it's clean before you use it. So I'm going to cut this up in kind of small um, squares or whatever, whatever floats your boat. Doesn't matter, just make it small where it fits in the glass. Okay. Okay. So here we are. I'm gonna put a few of the strawberries in the glass around. I don't know, can you guys see that? Is it close enough? Just put the strawberries in the glass around the ice. Around the ice. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this one, make a slit in it because I'm gonna put it on the glass for garnish. Um now like I said, they've been using, in these drinks, they've been using Red Bull. I don't do Red Bull, so we're going to do Big Red. And I'm going to just, ooh, that's strong. Nice fizz. And I'm going to just take it and fill the glass with the Big Red. Remember, you have fizz, so you want to pour it slowly. And like they do in the bar, they, they tilt the glass to, to delete, I mean, get rid of some of the foam. Okay, so about to there, the big red. Then, we're gonna, this would have been a great drink to do for Valentine's Day. Then we're gonna put some in some cream, some sweet cream. This is International Delight Sweet Cream. And then just add your cream to the drink. Wow, isn't that pretty? Oh, don't foam over. No, don't foam over. No, 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 no. And so then you want to add your 
strawberry for garnish. How cute is that, you guys? How cute is that? So I'm gonna call it a red fizz. That's what we're gonna call it. I'm going to keep with the theme of St. Patrick's Day and get me a green, a green straw, and we're going to try it. You guys, how cute is that? Is that not the cutest thing you've seen? How pretty of a drink is that? It's so pretty. So we're calling it a red fizz. Remember, keep that in mind. It's a red fizz. Now, if you want to go all out and in our, it's right now it's 10 a.m. I don't see any reason I need to put alcohol in this, but some people do and some people like alcohol. I'm trying to think what, let me taste it first and I'll tell you what may go good in it. So let's, let's give it a taste. Look at the strawberry syrup at the bottom. I meant for it to stay in the glass, but it's a little, it's just this. The gravity, it's at the bottom now. But anyways, this looks delicious. I'm going to try it. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Girl. <laughs> you got to try this. This is delicious. Now, if you wanted to make this alcoholic, I would say maybe vodka, something white. Vodka or maybe some rum if you want to go tropical. I mean, you know, it does have strawberries. You want to go tropical, make it, maybe add some rum. Or even tequila would be good in this. Just try it. Try it all different ways. Try it all different ways. And, and, and then let me know in the comments which one's the best. But just alone, just by itself, it's delicious. It'd be a great mocktail um, for kids. Or just like if there's a non-alcoholic party going on, this would be a great mocktail. It's delicious, you guys. The syrup. The strawberries, the freshness of the strawberries, you can taste it all in here. It's great. Mmm. It's delicious.
that's all for today. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go down, hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video and you won't miss any of my videos. And you guys, go over to Cooking with Jolinda and subscribe over there as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.